الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam about an important aspect of Iman and characteristics from one of the esteemed characteristics of the believers as well as a duty and a covenant and that is to spend in righteousness spending upon your family and those you're charged in authority over that we have a duty and sometimes we need reminders even if we're doing it just to remember it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not for the status of the people and that you will be rewarded for it by sharing your rizq and following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how do we know it's from Iman? how do we know that that is from Iman? we know this because Allah subhanahu Wata'ala mentions in the Quran about Ahl Iman, those people who believe in the Ghayb, he says, And from what I and what from, um, from what we have provided, they spin. And that lets us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our razaq He is the one who provides for you. He is the one who sustains you. He is the one who gives to you. So we should not become arrogant. We should avoid miserliness and make sure we fulfill our duties and responsibilities. And from what we provide for them, meaning the believers, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for everyone, it's still the, the risk uh, is, from, <coughs> is from Allah for everyone. Everyone has a risk, whether it be a lot of wealth, whether it be a little, and it's the mu'min who thanks Allah and remembers that it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and spends it fi sabilillah spends it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supporting their family supporting those in need and helping and assisting and, and, and assisting others spending it on the halal and the khayr and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Forgive us of our many shortcomings with regards to this Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in a hadith Al-Qudsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Ya Ibn Adam Unfaq or Unfaq Unfaq Ilayk all children of Adam spin meaning all mankind spin and I will spend upon you so by spending and doing what we need to do with the risk that Allah has provided he will provide an increase he will provide more so we need to hear that reminder because often we think about, well, if I spend this, I'm going to lose this. My wealth is decreased by this much because we measure only with what we see. 
but all those issues we don't see and that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides from, for us in another way we still don't acknowledge it but we have to be aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with this and that it's a responsibility upon us to spend and as an aside which just came to my mind which I've heard asked many times and with regards to spending some brothers especially often younger brothers who are newly married or want to get married they want to be supported by their wives they want their wives to work so they can do talib al-ilm this is a question reserved to the ulama but we know from the hikmah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided and given the men this responsibility to work and perhaps if a man has a wealthy wife and she doesn't require then this is great and she can help her husband or provide for her husband in that sense but the asal is that the man provides for the women so women need to be aware of that especially women who enter in those types of marriages where the husband has an expectation that she should be in either poverty, extreme poverty, so he can hopefully seek knowledge or what have you, or that she should be working in the workforce, even if it's in an environment which is mixed, even if it's in an environment which there may be some harm, but he expects that she's out there so he can do Talib al -ilm. This is a mistake, and this is something we have to be cautious of. And I know a true story that was asked, uh, someone asked me once, a sister was going to marry a particular brother, and he wanted her, he said he wanted to seek knowledge, he wanted to go overseas, but also he wanted to, uh, even there in his particular city, to seek knowledge, you know, just by hanging out in the masjid and stuff, and he wanted his wife to provide. He said, are you ready to take up that responsibility? So I advised her that this was not a responsible and a beneficial relationship. And that would be her choice to decide, but my advice would be not to enter into a situation like that, especially if it's a brother who's not known for Talib al you know, there's no no other kind of leverage that you can say, okay, well, he's going to finish his, you know, whatever, he's going to do, you know, finish this Arabic program or whatever, and then he'll come back to providing or, you know, whatever the situation may be. But it's just important, going back to the Shahid, that we spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from what he has provided for us. And from what we have provided them, they spend. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and increase our rizq and bless us with ilm al-nafi and rizq and tayyibu wa amal al and bless us to be of those who spend fi sabidillah and strive fi sabidillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam